Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bert Kinister coming to you with my buddy Rob Burton. This is hey. a be- Say hi, Rob. Hey, Bert. How you doing? I'm this- here. Here I am. <laughs> Seven degrees one ball. outside, and uh, he did make the one ball. This is the Battle of Meridian. These guys are playing for fifty thousand dollars. Well, that wasn't so good. good. Yeah. <laughs> we may not be seeing the cream of the crop right here. They're on the TV table for a reason. Well, this is the first shot. So you're allowed to make a mistake on the first shot. Okay. <laughs> That's very well could be the last shot. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the three, four, the five is trouble there. The five's a big trouble. And yeah. the three, the three and the four is, you know, if he draws this back to the our left hand rail, he can come up behind that three. He looks like he did it. Oh, he could come up behind the four. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe there's a safety here. Well, he knew where he wanted to be. That always helps. Something wrong with that. That must be the two ball. Huh. I oh, guess it is. Yeah. We think the three ball is probably the seven ball. They should kick three rails at this. I have a well, confession to make. Rail at it. You kicked one rail at it. There you go. I'm colorblind, so it's hard for me to see the two and the four. What's your excuse? I don't know. How about, how about, how about, <laughs> it looks purple. And it is the, well, that thing is the four, four, five. He, four, five may six, have seven, a, he may have enough to, he should come around two rails to get on the five in the upper left-hand corner. And he's doing, oh, he's coming for the other corner. Almost. I don't like that. That was no, a mistake. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a cross side or a safety. Oh, well, the cross side exists here. I, I predict he plays it somewhere. From what That's I've seen prediction. so far, I, I predict that uh, he misses it. Paula Lang, Jonathan Rawson, table C. Paula Lang, Jonathan Rawson, table C. He got on the other, the wrong side of that ball. Hearing potato chips. Yep. Potato chip bag. Somebody's crinkling a bag right next to the table mic. Boy, the bags nowadays really make a lot of noise. All right, everybody, He's playing welcome. It. No, he's playing that safety. And he executed it. That's not bad. He sure did. Rob, you've been playing pool a long time. I didn't see that. It's the early shift. That was a nice shot. <laughs> it was a nice shot. There can't be many bad players here for 50000 And it's full. 50000 bucks, yeah. That's big money for a pool player. Yep. I like that he stopped that ball there and didn't try and get closer. Yeah. I don't. I don't like that his opponent gave it to him. And then obviously you can, you know, you can give up a nine ball in this tournament like that. So I'm sure we'll see a lot of that. The bar table makes it all easier, and this looks particularly slow for a bar table. So it probably has bar cloth on it. So Nick is playing to 10, and Bobby is playing to 6. That's correct. I almost made the one. Oh, I did make the one on the side. Did make the one. That was yep. a pretty good break. Everybody's playing that one ball now. I always played the wing nut. One would sometimes go, but... I think Allison Fisher really changed the way everybody breaks by playing by being so consistent, making that one ball. Yep, that's a good observation. Well, this isn't too tough. I left English. Now we're stop, stop, stop. That's it. He's got to roll forward here a little. If he... He did. Is 
See, he's swiping the balls too. It's not my turn to shoot. I don't know. For fifty thousand bucks, I'd be making my opponent shoot. How about you? <laughs> I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what happens in your brain for that kind of money. You know, <laughs> there's guys that get up there and they're on that shot straight in. And they're the only person in the room that knows they can't move a muscle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bummer. Uh, <laughs> that'll teach you to draw the ball, young man. On the break. Oh, this looks pretty runnable, doesn't it? When John Schmidt run that uh, 667, he ran 667. He just stopped counting at the order. He finally got so tired of trying for so long, he hit every break shot with low English as hard as he could. It <laughs> stopped trying to control what happens afterwards, and he ran a lot of balls. Seems to work that. Did you watch that? I haven't seen it. No. It's hard to get a hold of. He was here in Illinois, Harrington, Illinois, I think. Somebody had a party for him down there, and the only place you could buy it was there. But he's trying to figure out how to monetize it without getting it stolen. Good luck. And, well, that's what I told him. You can't do it. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> it can't be. It can't be done unless you sell the rights to it to somebody for enough money. But yeah. as soon as it's on the internet, that's. People will steal it. As I told him it's going to turn up in his pool room with somebody trying to sell it to him, not knowing the same guy. <laughs> Probably true. It is true. <laughs> I've had a lot of people try and sell me my own videos. You buy any? No, but I caused a lot of noise. You know, I, I just got to the point I couldn't take it anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just I'm letting the world have its way with me. You try and fight them all, you can't do it. You just got to draw this ball back. He doesn't have to draw it too far either. He's got the angle to come on the correct side of the eight. He did good. He missed that side pocket. He sure it was did. looming large. It was looming large. That's okay, too. That's okay, too. I would have come through rails the other way, but that's fine. He's making him shoot this one. Got Look perfect. at him jump up, though. You see him jump up when he hits the ball? He jumped up, but he split the pocket, so he, he got what pocket. he needed. Yes, he got what he, he needed to do done when he, when he hit it. You are correct, Rob. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to hit it while you're in the air. <laughs> it is. I believe that, yeah. I've, I've never tried, tried it, but I believe yeah. that. I've never tried it. Well, I've gotten to the weight where I can't do it anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about belly hooks the other day. Woof. I haven't been in a pool room in a year, so I don't know, you know. Same. Look at that break. Huh? Oh, mama. And shape on the one, too. Yeah. All right, that gets a little tricky in there. Yeah, the two balls straight, you know. The kind of guy I am, <laughs> I get on the two ball, and then I try to kiss off the two ball and play the nine cross corner. Send the two <laughs> ball. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'd be surprised how good you can get at that. Things like that. I would never have seen that. That's good. All right, this is tricky. He got where he can't do what I, I said. He's got. He's got a banker. Angle, I think at that ankle, it's a, a banker is safe. Yeah, banker is safe. You could nuzz, He could nuzzle in right behind that nine. So nice. But he won't be able to make the two ball. Well, he hit it. He got away. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. This guy should hit the rail first. Yeah. No, you hit the ball first. If you hit the rail first, you can drift up there behind the eight ball, which is much better than this. A lot of people don't see that because they haven't been handed their heart on a platter. <laughs> <do they? laughs> well, 
Oh, I'm, I I'm feel sure like he's he could... going to hit it. Ace, I think he'll hit it too. I wonder if he can get behind that six ball or seven ball, whatever that one is. I think it's the three ball. A three ball? It could I, be. I think so. Did I, did I mention it, I'm colorblind? Uh, yes, you did. <laughs> it's a tough game for being colorblind. They change the colors of the balls all the time, which would help you. <laughs> you got to look at the numbers now. The colors aren't correct. No, he missed that, and he didn't play safe. And that's not going to go in that corner until right now. <laughs> well, for sure, that red one obviously is the seven ball. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's the six ball. I thought it was the eight ball. Six, seven. There we go. Yeah. Well, it was a little weak. Oh, no, it's not. It rolled nice. Look at that. No, he, he's right where he needs to be. I'm not giving this shot up, though. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a little bit hard, they're making each other shoot it. Drive it. Drive it. Go ahead. I do know the winner of this tournament. Well, don't spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. Not yet. I've spoiled so much of my life, man. I probably... <laughs> Let's see if he plays that one ball. Yep. He's played it. You see how it went cross corner like that? It did. It did. Uh, I that saw actually, John... that, That's a nice break. That is a real nice break. I watched Johnny Archer run 12 racks, making wow. every one ball cross corner like that 12 times in a row and run out. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. He was playing across the corner and making it. That's talent. That is talent. Johnny Archer, highly talented. Johnny. He had an aptitude. And one of the best guys in the pool. Nice fella? I never met him. Nice fella? A very nice fella. I used to travel with a friend of mine, Art Wiggins. And Art says he's the only guy that he ever traveled with where he didn't have to hide his money at night. <laughs> That's an endorsement. <laughs> it is an endorsement in the business. <laughs> you can't say anything better than that. That's nice. He's got a nice natural two rail angle yeah. here, maybe three rail. If he came in, well, he's doing what you said, trying to put it down on a dime. If you do that four rails and come to the inside with our yeah. left side hard, It'll come that fourth rail off, and it, it, you hit it hard. There's no way to overrun the ball. No way to overrun the nine. But he put it right there. I'm sure these guys, some of them have to be used to playing on this equipment. Yeah. I don't know how many bar tables they have. I know there's hundreds of people there. I've never been to big-time billiards. There's a big-time billiards in, in Texas. I've been to that. I've never been to the... You know, Mississippi is one of those states I try to avoid when I'm out in the world. <laughs> Mississippi. Well, so far, uh, yeah. Bert, so far, everybody is, every every break has made a ball. Yep. One made a, no, there was no scratch on the break. No, every break has been good. Didn't the one guy scratch in the corner? That was off the one ball. Okay. Maybe the, I don't know. Well, that didn't work out so well. That's a negative maybe safety. Was safe. He was maybe playing safe. He couldn't have been trying to make that ball. No, I, I think, think it was a safety. The whole ball. Yeah, I think it was a negative safety. A negative safety. He kind so of gave it away here. Two negative safeties make a positive outcome. 
Well, for for his opponent, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's another uh, another safety, attempt. Yeah. Well, I don't think he got. He didn't get there either. I, I don't know about you, but I I like getting distance. I don't like leaving the balls that close. Well, you pick that's you pick one or the other. And the key to playing safety at a high amateur level is to pick whether you're controlling where the cue ball goes or where the object ball goes. Don't try and that control the ball. Sense. That makes a lot of sense. Try and control them both. I mean, there's definitely professionals that can control them both. But most amateurs can't. They get in a lot of trouble trying. So if you're an amateur player, you'll do better to just pick one. Oh, absolutely. Make, you put it in place. Absolutely. Yeah, make, make a choice. You either play the, the object ball to a, a safe spot on the table or the cue ball, but you don't play them both. Because hmm. you're, just, you're just not good enough to do it. <laughs> I know. Now everybody's going to run out the league night and try <laughs> and do it. I, I practice <laughs> You gotta really be good to control both of those balls. That was a good shot. That was a really good shot. Yeah, he brought it all the way back down there. He didn't get more than two inches off the ground. Not much hang time. <laughs> Table number two, Cadillac and Greg Thomas. Table number two, Cadillac and Greg Thomas. He's got the lollipop going. Well, this looks pretty good. I think this looks yeah, like this is this is Nick Hickerson shooting. I I I'd say he's out from here. If, oh. he, if he's got to go to ten, oh, he's not out from there, is he? He's not. <laughs> I try to give him a compliment, and not allowed. That worked out pretty good. I did. There's a good kick safety here, too. With maybe a. Well, the problem is if you play this as a kick safety, you might make that ball in the corner, and then you're you're in trouble. You don't play it into the corner. Yeah, well, that isn't the way you kick at it. You kick at it off the end rail. Yeah, I'm saying if you had kicked off the end rail, you could have potted that ball in the top left corner and, you know, hooked well, yourself. I, yeah, on. but you wouldn't you wouldn't want to hit it that hard. Yeah. You, do, you want to kick it at the rail right here before the side pocket. Yeah. At the amateur level, tell me, Bert, at the amateur level, are players picking off a kick like that, that they're going to put it on a particular dot or a spot on the rail? It's good amateurs, sure. Yeah. Sure. You know, top amateurs are just a tad, a tad away from... Uh, professional players you know well i can't tell you the difference between amateurs and professionals it's the same in any racket the only difference is one tries to make a living at it and one doesn't that's not exactly the only difference <laughs> uh, if i tell you the only difference here where everybody <laughs> can hear me i'll be inundated with calls yeah <laughs> Looks like we're on a little break here. Yeah, taking a break. Now they probably got, well, I haven't seen anybody smoke. Maybe it's a no, no smoking place and these guys got to go outside and there, smoke. Are there still smoking pool halls? I haven't seen one in uh, 20 years, yeah, I feel like. The one I, know, I played in Texas just became non-smoking last week it was smoking not this week no so really? I, I don't know any you know chris's is probably up on milwaukee avenue that's probably still a smoking pool room in chicago i don't know that for a fact i know red shoes i just hang around red shoes red shoes is a good spot isn't it it's my favorite spot because the quality of play in there is higher than the quality of play up at Christmas. It's yeah. It's just you know, 
you can get played in there. I don't care who you are. <laughs> you think you're going to sneak up on somebody in there, man. You, you, you're you looking at the wrong book. <laughs> Tell me, in Chicago, Chris's is downtown? It's far north side, north of Milwaukee oh, Avenue. It's in a Polish neighborhood. Okay. And Red Shoes is south? South the, side? South, yeah. It's, it's probably 45 or 50 miles south of there. Yeah. Anything in the middle? Is there a good pool hall in the middle? I'm sure there is, but I don't know it. Oh, yeah, there's one in Addison, Diamonds. That's oh. it's a real nice pool hall. They have the biggest pockets on gold towns I've ever seen. I bet huh. they're smoking. When I was training, training Niels Fye and how to act in tournaments, yeah, if you knew your opponent was a smoker, find out what kind of brand he smokes. And after, you know, a half an hour or something, put a pack of his brand out on the table where he can see it. Now, he's going to want <laughs> some of that. And his mind's going to go, how do I get some of that? And take his mind <laughs> off the table. It really will. <laughs> You're a sneaky guy. I am a <laughs> sneaky guy. <laughs> how many pool halls did there used to be? When you were growing up in Chicago, how many pool halls were there compared to now? Oh, there were dozens, dozens. One time in the Chicago Loop before I was born, there were 40 pool halls. No, that's wrong. 400 pool halls that had more than 40 tables each in the Loop. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's for real. Here that's they amazing. come. There were still pool halls in, in the loop 25 years ago, for sure. I don't think anyone could afford a pool hall there now. No, you, and that's what they found out. Then they started trying to have food and, you know, mm -hmm. you, they used to make it just on the pool. And no, nobody can do that anymore. No. Well, the, the character part. of the game has changed. It has. It's becoming more and more a white collar game. That's what everybody wanted. Yep. No, nobody made a but he did not make a ball there. Well, he didn't. He didn't leave a good table. This isn't. I don't think. This is not easy. This is. I mean, it's runnable, but it's tough. The one that the, the two is not easy. I can tell it now. I can tell what they are with the colors while they're all together there. But getting from the two, well, you got to get on the two real good to get on the three good. You don't wait. No, that's for... the three down by the five. That's the three down by the five. You remember those old televised matches? Uh, and they used to draw on the screen. They could draw. Yeah. And the ball was going to go. That's what we need. <laughs> A telestrator? Yeah. <laughs> No, I can probably hook one up. We're going to be doing a lot of these, Rob. Well, this is a tough situation he's in here. I don't know. I guess he can see enough to pot that ball, yeah. 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 All right, guys, we're going to have uh, sausage dogs and hamburgers in about 30 to 45 minutes. Using the word pot to pot a ball <laughs> tells everybody you're a snooker player, kid. You know it. You know it. <laughs> Well, I grew up in Canada, and it was all snooker at the beginning. There were no pool tables. It was only Oof. snooker halls. Oof. Imagine that. Well, Brazil's like that. Brazil's all snooker. And the rest of South America, there's pool. But from Mexico all the way to Argentina, three cushion billiards is the game. Yeah, that, that's a great game. That's such a hard game. Yeah, I, I wish there was. There's no table near me. I, was I, in I, I like to play that. I was in Florida uh, just before COVID. That was Look, a nice he, cut. he shot that thing in his side, man, and come up just yeah. right on it. Perfect. I was in Florida uh, just before COVID, and I stopped in a pool hall near, I want to say Delray, on mm -hmm. the east coast of Florida, uh -huh. and they had five heated plugged in pristine beautiful three cushion tables and people who could really play on them it was wow. a pleasure to watch 
Yeah, there's player. a lot of good players. Bill Smith's down there in Florida, a great billiard player, but he's he's uh, he's north of there. He's north. He's uh, half hour north of the villages. I wonder if I'll ever get back there. <laughs> I think you will. I think you will. Oh, it's a little close, I guess, huh? Well, I don't know. I draw this ball to the to the rail, just straight low English, and come out for the six in the side. But I don't think that's what he's up to. Oh, well, that worked. That did work. No, this this young this young man's definitely the the, the better player. Oh, that was played very nicely. It was. That was too. You can always tell the best player if he's got Titleist on his hat. <laughs> so all I have to do is get the hat, huh? Well, you might have to hit a couple of golf balls. <laughs> It'll elevate my game. That's right. If you're going to have Titleist on your hat, you always want to have a pocket full of tees and a couple of golf balls in your bag. Take them out and make sure people look at them because it takes attention off of what they're doing. <laughs> If they play golf, especially, they're, they're going to want to trap you on a golf course. <laughs> I do not play golf. Do you? I have in my life, but not very successful at it. All right. This is really interesting. This is an interesting table here. You need to find a way to get on that six ball. If you can do that. No, the oh, six, no. nine. Yeah. Oh, oh well. no. Oh no! That isn't gonna work. Now, 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 this is real work. I guess you could play the three. It, it, I can't tell whether that's the. It's probably the four. The three, four. You can do that. You can play here that's two, a, three, and then the three ball combo, maybe. You come back off the three ball. No, get on the get on the four ball, and make the four fine. play the six nine. I think. He's got the angle. He can get right on that four ball, so he has the six nine in the corner. Now the key says so you know how to play that six nine, huh? But he's got to get to the five first. That's on the butt. There. No, he does. The, four, the four's after this ball. The four ball's down here. Yep. And he overhit it. But then he's, he's got to get to the right. five ball. Hmm? Oh, he's got to get to the five before the four. You're right. <laughs> before the six. Before the six. That's correct. I'm fading out, man. That's all right. You're allowed. I got a candle burning here somewhere, man. The fumes must be getting me. <laughs> I think he's going to make this and get on the five. And he does have an angle to get on that six. So what's the best way onto this six ball, Bert? I come two rails out of the corner. I'd be happy with anything I get above the six, because the way to play this ball is not to play the six directly into the nine. You play the six into the rail, and it hug makes the it corrals the nine into the corner. That's a good shot. I wouldn't have done that, that but <laughs> yeah. now look carefully and see if he plays the six into the rail first. I placed it straight into the. He should look. He's froze on a rail with the cue ball. All he's got to do is, is put a almost a full hit on the ball, just a little cut. That was nice. Yeah, it was rail nice. first. They, they, they tend to play a bit bigger, don't they? Rail first. Oh, absolutely. The, the, it, it herds the ball into the pocket. 
That's what we call it. It's her. Sometimes you can make it follow into the pocket. I teach ball people balls that are straight in it. They swear to God they're not straight in. I tell them hit it with high English. And the dog, the high, the cue ball follows the object ball straight in the hole. How could it do that if it wasn't straight in to begin with? It is. It's the same principle there. You come off of that. It makes the pocket play much better. Yeah. It increases your chances 20, 30 percent. Well, there's got to be some kind well, you can push out, I guess. You could. There's also probably a pretty good safety because you got all those balls up at the end of the table there. Yeah, I, I like that, you know. I like kicking it up table and bringing the cue ball down to the end rail here. But I kick, I, I use kicks a lot in safeties. You know, if somebody, if you, if you see somebody that's not using kicks, you know that, you know, they, they don't, they're afraid, they're afraid to do it to the real thing. Mm -hmm. This guy's looking at it and sending the ball straight down table here. So you'd play this, you'd kick off the right rail, send the one ball up table, cue ball back towards the bottom of the room. Yeah. Right. I'd, try, I'd be trying to get the one in front of the three here. Or unless I kicked it hard enough to get to the end rail. Then I, I'd be happy to leave the one about just about where it is. It looks like he's going to push. That's the smartest thing to do. But not to there. <laughs> that's a that's a simple bank. Yeah. And you get to knock the two away from the rail so you could go. He overhit it a bit, but Yeah, overhit it a bit. What's he gonna is he shooting at the ball? You jumping over the No, he can he's playing safe. That's a got to know safe. Leave one at one end and the other at the other end. Yeah. You can spend weeks practicing that. That's coming up. It's harder to do than it looks. It is. So, it is. Oh, it is. It really is, sport fans. Robert E. M. and Joe Montoya table six. Robert E. M. Joe Montoya. The Battle of Meridian. You ever been in Meridian, Mississippi? I have never been there. How about you? Nope. I don't think I've ever been to Mississippi. I've been so many places, but I don't think I've been there. I don't think I have either. Is Gulfport in Mississippi? Yeah, I've probably been there, Gulfport. Robert Young, Joe Montoya, they will see. He swung at the nine ball. That's my kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> it can't go if it's not rolling. The longer it rolls, the more likely it is to find a pocket. That's a good shot. Yeah. And oh. this nine is definitely what well, he scratched. He scratched. Uh, and he sold the, it that, out. That nine's easy. It's just off the rail there. Yeah. Yeah. If the pockets are big, it's almost impossible to hit it with that three ball without making it. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't think you'd have to work to, to miss this nine ball. You really would. I mean, you'd, you'd have to something that have to happen. There we go. <laughs> the nine ball jump up a little bit. <laughs> I thought I should try to get out at all. I've seen a lot of them get out of the hole. That. When you're practicing, they go in so nice, and then you get into a tournament. Who knows what will happen sometimes. I was gambling in Texas when I was a teenager. I had the last nine ball right in the side pocket. It was the last game for a couple of thousand dollars, and I smashed it as hard as I could. There's a bar table like this into the side pocket, and that thing rolled across and popped out up out from under me out of the other side pocket right under me. It looked <laughs> like I laid an egg, and I lost. That's when I learned to shoot soft. 
<laughs> All right, this is a trouble table here. It has congestion. It's a lot of people together in one place with this COVID going around. Yep. Yep. How does he get on this? I don't think I'd shoot at this ball. He didn't. That's that's right. That's correct. That worked out pretty good, actually. Yeah, well, he, he hit a he hit a good. Wow, that was a nice shot. It was a nice shot. Rail first. Oh. Except for. Except for that. the leave. Yeah. You're supposed to play position for yourself, not the opponent, right? Yeah, this is another one. The three off the rail makes that eight easy. And the three will come down this way so you can bring the ball down here, the cue ball down here. Not like that. <laughs> now he can make this. Play two, two rail position. No, he's not doing that. No, he is playing it. I thought he hit it below center. Maybe hit it center. Still got to get by the 6 9. A lot of these games are finishing before they get to the 9. Mm -hmm. That's why I always ride the 9. If he stops it, he knows something about his shots. This isn't that hard on this table. I mean, there's tables it wouldn't go on, but that was a That's marvel. a cool that's a clever shot. That's a good. I, I don't think everybody saw that. Okay. That was a good shot. It was a good shot. It was a good shot to see it and not go crazy and mess yeah. it up. Let's see if we can get another one ball on the side. I like to see that when it goes. I'm not good at it, you know? Me neither. I get the wing balls in, too. I play the wing ball, man. And there's a one headed cross corner again, at least in that same general direction. And he's down there with it, so all he's really yeah. got to do... I did notice that both of these guys are getting the cue ball and the one ball on the same end of the table pretty consistently. That's yeah, good. That's a good thing. Yep. Well, you know, the one ball is always going to come down this way. So you always bring the cue ball back so it'll be with it. Unless you're comfortable parking the cue ball in the center. But most, <laughs> most, most people don't play good enough to leave themselves a shot parking the cue ball in the center. Especially if they're playing that one ball in the side. Being yeah. in the center, if you miss it in the side, being in the center of the table isn't going to help you. It's going to be down here. That was a shot. Yep. I predict he's out. I predict you're right. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably doomed then. <laughs> He's just got to cut this into the side pocket, and he should be home free. I, I would say that's true. He believes it. Yep. He's in a good spot to get on that seven. Just draw it straight back. Pick a part of that pocket to let it allow you to do that. He's good enough to have done that. And he came on the right side of it. So he's going to land on the eight pretty naturally. The correct side of it. Yes, the correct side. Yeah, he's good. He doesn't even have to shoot him. On one of my videos, I was telling people that the only... The, the secret of position is... Lying on the right side of the next ball. And so help me God. A guy called me up and says, I get on the right side of the next ball all the time. I have never run a rack. Why can't I be on the left side? <laughs> Hand to God. 
And so now I always say the correct side. Hey, it's better to be exact. <laughs> Oh, God. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know it what to thought. It could be confusing. Was. Well, I've confused him. I'm sure I've confused a lot of people in my time. So many people spend the money on the videos and stuff, the lessons, and they won't spend the time to learn how to do shot number one. So people and that have, you hear about all the time. You know, the best <laughs> in the world, you know. You, you gotta put in the hours. You well, can't you gotta be. Put in the hours. You can't be an information tourist. You know, no. if you just watch the videos, or you read the book, or whatever it is, that doesn't actually help you. Well, I That's used just... to sell special videos, and I tell them if you put these under your pillow at night, you'll learn. <laughs> but they were more expensive. <laughs> I also heard of a system where you write what you need to know on crackers and you eat them. That's a good man. That's a good idea. I just went completely blank. Hello. I'm here. Are you here? I, I I'm I'm here, but there's I got a blank screen. You got a blank screen? I got a black screen. Black screen. Blank. And here it oh. came back. All right. Okay. Mm, he might have knocked it out of the way. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he can see half the ball, and that's not the correct half of the ball. I'll bank that sucker across the corner, come around three rails and nudge that three in the play. <laughs> <laughs> well, nonetheless, getting on that four ball they played is a safe. tough shot. Yeah, he played safe. Oh, this guy's going to make this ball. Yeah, but then what? This. To be anywhere where you can play that four ball anywhere, you can play good safe, you know. That's not the safe I had to play. That didn't work out, but I, I like what he was trying to do. I, I, if you freeze to that ball, you, you take away so much. You do, but he, he was trying to freeze to it. What? He doesn't know how. <laughs> it's hard to freeze to a ball. It's hard yeah. to learn how to freeze to a ball. It takes several thousand shots to learn it. It's really intricate. Or it took me several thousand shots. <laughs> <laughs> it took me getting busted several thousand times. <laughs> now he should get out from here. As long as he doesn't try and get too fancy here. Yeah. He picked a good shot speed. That worked well. Yeah, and he got on the correct side of this seven ball. Yeah. He can just come two rails out of there straight forward. And, oh, he, he killed the ball. I'm right again, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's good. a good shot. Hey, sports fans, this is Bert Kinister, videos.bertkinister.com. A hundred videos, total access, $35 a month. And every other piece of lesson you've ever seen anywhere is taken from those videos. So I know they're not in high def. There was no <laughs> high def. <laughs> The amount of money I spent trying to make them look good, they do look good. Well, you know, the content is good. Well, and there's no way 
There's no way to keep it current unless you keep refilming them. So you just got to live with it. Oh, there's a way to the digitize them. I know somebody's digitized a couple, but and and make them high def. I don't know how to do that. And I'm I'm imagining that it's tens of thousands of dollars for a hundred videos. Whoop. Yep. He's kicking. Oh, what happened there? I think what happened there is he hit it so hard it shortened up the angle and he completely missed the ball. Wow. Well, he left. He left Titleist out. He left Nick out. When I see a guy with a Titleist hat, or I know he's a golfer, I have been known to have the bartender set the TV to a golf match. So he's, I hope he starts <laughs> watching that. <laughs> you are a sneaky guy. I'm not sneaky. I'm just, uh, well, I made a living playing this game for 20 years. Maybe more than that. You figure you learn a thing or two? Yeah. Enough to make 100 videotapes. <laughs> Enough been loaded. I'm not going to get rich playing. <laughs> this is the shot. Well, as long as he doesn't overdo it, mm -hmm. you just need an angle on that thing, and you're out. I don't. I think he's probably going to try and draw it. I come around three rails. That way, I'd be able to use the eight as a stopper if I come coming a little short. I think he is too. He is. He must have watched tape number five. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's shot number three on the 60 minute workout. Table number 10, Chase Lennon, Dusty Harrington. Table 10, Dusty Harrington, Chase Lennon. Table 10. And all you got to do is draw it back a foot. Look at that. And he did. <laughs> and I believe that's all we have for you today. These guys decided that they didn't want to play on this table and they finished the match where there was no television. But Rob and I will be back soon with another one. And this, these are the, it'll finish. And there'll be more coming from Rob and I. Well, if I can this ever was a lot of fun. It was fun. You know, and if I can ever get out of the quarantine here, I can go do these videos. I can do, do the tournaments all over the place. That'd but be a lot of fun, too. Me and Let's the pack are hunkered down. Yeah, me too. Let's just all stay safe. Everybody stay safe. Just chill out at home. Wear your mask when you go out. And uh, we'll be through this in no time. And then we'll all get back to doing the stuff we love. That, that, that's, listen to the man. <laughs> he's, he's got aptitude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Bert, this was okay. great fun. Yeah. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next time. Talk yeah. to you later. Bye.